Hi and welcome to Distance Converter Develop using Python. Okay guys, let me show you how this works. So let's give it a try. Let's convert miles to kilometers. So let's say we have like 45 miles. We want to convert that to kilometers. All you need to do is click on the convert and that is uh, 72.4. Let's say you want to convert it, uh, you want to convert 45 kilometers to miles. That is what you get, about 28, uh, 28 miles. And supposing you intend to convert that to nautical miles or from nautical, 40, 45 nautical miles to miles, there. And convert from miles to nautical miles. That is what you get. You can also reset, you can exit if you want or continue and enter some more conversion that you intend to carry out. Okay, so what I'll do now is to take you guys straight into Python. So in Python we then develop another converter, distance converter all over and you guys see how I've managed to put this together. So let's go into Python and start all over. Okay, exit and let's start a new project. There we go, guys. Okay, first of all, guys, let's extend that. Okay, we start by importing the necessary library for the program. And right here, I have the name of my system there. That is what I'm going to be calling it distance converter. And here I've set the geometry of my app as the background color and so on. So the next thing I want to do now is to define the size or the frame really. So let's define the frame. And underneath here I'm going to enter my frame. That's the frame I intend to use. And let me just close this. Then we'll run this frame so that you guys can see. Alright, let's save it as maybe converter, distance converter. Save as. Save that straight onto my desktop. Distance converter. There. Save. And let's run this and see how it's going to look like. Right there. Okay, I have my frame here. Okay, the top frame, left frame, and right frame. Let's enter title. The next thing now is to enter a title there. And right here is my title, right there. Okay, that's the title there. So if I save and run, that is my title. Okay, so. Maybe we'll run it again so that you guys can see it. That's the title right there. So all I just need now is to enter the component and my buttons here. Okay, now let's take care of something. I think this font might be too small. So let's come to options and just increase the size a little bit for you guys to see it. Maybe 12. Okay, that's fine. I suppose you can all see you can all see the programs now or the lines of codes so okay now let's go into maybe we should create the buttons first okay right here I'm going to enter my buttons right there I intend to use three different buttons there they are okay that's the converter button itself the reset button and the exit button let's move this up so that you can see it Take it up a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. All right, and take this up. That's my. Okay, that's the tie to there. All right, here are the buttons. So I'm gonna save it now. All right, and then you can see it. There we go. We have my buttons right now. They do nothing. So the next thing I want to do is to declare some variables. Okay, right underneath the frame here, I will declare my 
let me declare the variables right underneath the frames okay do that here yeah that's fine one more there we go those are the variables I intend to use okay I'll be using these for the combo box and this will be for the calculation okay and I'll be using this for just uh, the commands all right so let's go so the next thing is to create my combo box so let's do that okay as for the combo box maybe I should enter that right on it here I think maybe I'll do that let's come in here let's add a blue line there and come in here those are the lines of code for the combo box look at it right there I've actually assigned the combo box as you can see to the left main frame and as you can see that of the buttons are assigned to the right main frame right there I can move this up so that you can see now we tab it down okay that's it you guys can see it now all right let's run it so that you see the combo box i'm going to run that save and run one thing first i'm right there those are the that's the combo box okay but nothing is happening yet the next thing we want to do is let's add some labels and entry let's do that now and right here I have my labels and entry right there look at it from here down here is the combo box labels and entry here Maybe I should break that so that you guys can see it as well. Yeah. Okay. Now we have the entry in place and labels in place. These other labels I'm just using it as a space. Okay then. So let's come up here and run it. And you can see that. There we go. This is how it all looks now. But nothing is happening yet. Nothing happens. This doesn't work and this doesn't work. Okay, let's go back onto the system. But one important thing I've done is I've assigned my variable, the variable that I declared to the variable intake right there. I've done that for those two. And here, all of the commands are not there yet. But we need to create some functions so let's say create some function that will carry out the whole calculation then for reset and exit let's create those functions now okay the first function i intend to create will be that of exit and reset let's enter those right here okay here i have function exit right here I have the function reset or the method reset whatever you want to call it function or method or method there okay this two method there let's add them here let's come to reset and right there enter a command command equals I think that is reset yeah and the other one is going to be command equal equals q exit q exit so we can now try those two functions out come in here run and save or save and run okay that's not working yet that's can reset if we want to let's enter something in there reset works exit no i don't want to exit click again yeah that exit works okay so that is it right there you can see the message for the exit okay and if you click on this if you select zero yes that means you intend to exit so this the system will destroy the frame and that off reset all that 
the reset does is just to empty the combo box and assign zero value to the two the label and the entry right there okay now the final one is to take care of the function calculates so let's enter a broken line there so that you guys can see it. I'll put it right underneath here there using an if statement and right here there using if statement so if value the value itself that is the combo box as you can see let me show it to you that is the combo box right there okay value is zero value zero dot get mile to kilometers and here is supposed to be the method of conversion from miles to kilometers right there and here are my local variables and right here that is the distance that is declared here variable that is declared right up here actually okay that is it right there and that's assigned to this very label right there look at it this very label okay and the same thing was just repeated for the rest actually if you see that and here we divide it okay to get this right that's converting from kilometers to miles and the next one is the nautical miles conversion that is the formula to convert nautical miles to miles right there and from miles to nautical miles right here okay the other the or the final piece of the if statement is if the combo box is empty this is what I expect it to do display this very message okay I don't think this one will work so let's take that out I'll just try something else okay so supposing it's empty let's give that a, let's save and run we have an error okay get rid of that one there okay let's try it again yeah okay there's nothing there so we expect that to work actually i need to connect this let's go for the command okay convert distance copy that and i come right underneath here here and enter command equals convert distance okay save and run all right let's try that you see that make a selection so that means we have to select something and enter whatever we intend to convert in there and click that so the conversion of uh, 465 kilometers to miles is equivalent to 288.9 miles and you can even convert it from nautical miles to miles there that's what you get okay guys with that i'm going to call it the end of this distance conversion tutorial i suppose you all enjoy it but before i go let me just show you the lines of codes one more time okay let's minimize that and just so you take it right from the top bring it down i suppose you can see it so i want to bring it down here up to there yeah okay that's it so with that you all have a nice day now bye for now